Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session, we'll be showing you some new options in our face milling in 2009. If we go into our operation of face milling, we'll take a look at our first option in geometry. Now, when I choose a geometry and use my target as my boundary, you'll note I have the boundary automatically around the part itself you'll see that the boundary is exactly around the part itself. Now we have added here an option here called modify. If I were to say modify by three millimeters and then apply that, you'll see that my now my geometry is three millimeters past the part itself being able to enlarge the actual boundary area to be cut. This is especially important if you also want to cut away the stock material which you may have excess stock material on the side of the part itself. We've also made an improvement in our tool area. If I have to choose a tool, say a face mill of, th of 40 millimeters in, in diameter, let's take a look at the data field. In a data field we have now have a separate feed for our links. In other words, when it goes from one area to the next, we can have a separate feed to make it go faster. And we also have full control of our lead ins and lead outs as far as our feed control on those areas. Now, in our technology area, we've added the following improvements. We've added an option here called equal step over. When doing our hatch cut, we have a minimum overlap now instead of a regular overlap. In other words, it automatically will give us an even overlap as we go along the part. Another option that we've added on here is we have depth cutting type, zigzag or one way. If I were to do one way and then do save and calculate, now let's just take a quick look at our simulation and I'll do this one step at a time. You'll see that if my tool goes down, it'll clear across the part and then when it gets to the end it will go up and go back to the beginning of the part and then go down again in other words going one way now if I were to change this to zigzag now if I run my simulation I'll make it go a little slower you'll see it starts from here when it gets to the end it just simply goes down and then goes back instead of going up and back to the beginning making for what we call a zigzag cut and we've also added now another option of toolpath reverse where I can actually reverse the direction of my toolpath if I were to look at my simulation now my toolpath will start from this side over here instead of when it did before on the other side thank you for joining us on SolidCam Professor take care and have a nice day